Have you ever wondered why some individuals, despite their harmful actions, always seem to be the victim? This isn't a mere coincidence. It's a calculated game played by those who've mastered the art of deception, narcissists. Narcissists are notorious for their ability to manipulate perceptions and evade accountability, often portraying themselves as the wronged party. This is no simple feat. It involves a complex web of tactics, each carefully designed to twist narratives and situations in their favor. Whether it's a tearful tale of woe, a rapid shift of blame, or a martyr's cloak, narcissists are adept at using these strategies to garner sympathy and deflect responsibility. They can even muster crocodile tears at will or launch smear campaigns against their actual victims, all in an effort to solidify their faux victimhood. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve into the cunning tactics narcissists use to paint themselves as the victim. Firstly, narcissists are master storytellers, spinning tales of woe with themselves at the center. This woe is me narrative is a craft they've honed to perfection. You see, for the narcissist, life is a perpetual tragedy, a never-ending saga of hardships and injustices. They are always the underdog, the one who's been wronged, the victim of circumstance and sometimes even of their own partners. They skillfully exaggerate minor inconveniences into major tragedies, turning a molehill into a mountain, so to speak. They recount their stories with such passion and detail that it's easy to be drawn into their world, to feel their pain, to sympathize with them. But remember, this is all part of their grand design. By painting themselves as the victim, they evade accountability, manipulate others, and gain the upper hand. The woe is me narrative is a potent tool in the narcissist's manipulation arsenal. It's a tactic that's as effective as it is deceptive, and it's one we must be wary of. When faced with criticism, narcissists are quick to shift the blame onto others. Indeed, the blame game is one of their most potent strategies. When conflict arises, rather than reflecting on their own actions and taking responsibility, narcissists deflect. They twist facts, manipulate narratives, and even invent scenarios to position themselves as the innocent party. Here's how it works. Let's say you confront a narcissist about something they've done that hurt you. Instead of acknowledging their actions and apologizing, they'll shift the focus onto you. They'll accuse you of being overly sensitive, of misinterpreting their actions, or even of causing the very problem you're confronting them about. In this way, they not only avoid taking responsibility, but also leave you feeling confused, disoriented, and guilty. But the blame game is just one piece of the puzzle. Narcissists also frequently employ what is known as the martyr complex. They portray themselves as selfless individuals who are constantly sacrificing and suffering for the good of others. They may tell you stories of the countless sacrifices they've made for their loved ones, subtly implying that their efforts are met with ingratitude and neglect. The martyr complex serves a dual purpose. On the one hand, it garners sympathy and admiration, painting the narcissist as a noble sufferer who endures hardship for the sake of others. On the other hand, it creates a sense of guilt and obligation in the listener. After all, if the narcissist is sacrificing so much for you, it's only fair that you should reciprocate, right? However, it's important to remember that both the blame game and the martyr complex are nothing more than manipulative tactics. The narcissist isn't genuinely interested in taking responsibility or making sacrifices. They're interested in one thing and one thing only, protecting their image and maintaining control. These tactics allow narcissists to avoid accountability and further solidify their victimhood. So the next time you find yourself on the receiving end of the blame game or the martyr complex, remember this, it's not about you. It's about the narcissist's desperate need to protect their fragile ego. Narcissists are also adept at using their emotions as a manipulation tool. This brings us to the fourth tactic in their arsenal, the crocodile tears. Picture this, a narcissist caught in a lie, their facade crumbling. But instead of owning up, they break down, their eyes welling up with tears. These aren't tears of remorse or empathy, but rather a strategic tool employed to divert attention from their misdeeds. Crocodile tears, so named for the myth that crocodiles weep while devouring their prey, are a masterclass in emotional manipulation. They are perfectly timed often making an appearance when the narcissist is cornered or called out. The tears serve multiple purposes. 
They may evoke sympathy, soften the resolve of those confronting them, or even cause them to second-guess the validity of their claims. All this while the narcissist avoids taking responsibility for their actions. But the manipulation doesn't end with tears. As we transition into the fifth tactic, the smear campaign, we see how narcissists employ deception to further solidify their victimhood. A smear campaign involves the narcissist spreading lies and rumors about their actual victims. This is not just about self-preservation, it's also about control. Imagine being painted as the villain in your own story. The narcissist might depict their victims as abusive, unstable, or even dangerous. They might share heartbreaking tales of their own victimhood, all the while subtly implying that the real victim is the perpetrator. This strategy effectively silences their victims, turning the tables and making them the ones who need to defend themselves. And so the narcissist continues their reign, their audience none the wiser, their victims further isolated. Through these tactics, narcissists effectively silence their victims and turn others against them. But remember, behind the crocodile tears and the smear campaigns lies the truth. A truth that, when revealed, can begin to unravel the narcissist's web of deceit. Recognizing a narcissist's victimhood as a facade is the first step towards reclaiming your power. As we peel back the layers of a narcissist's game, it's crucial to remember that their tales of woe, their blame shifting, their martyrdom, their crocodile tears and their smear campaigns are all part of a grand strategy to manipulate, control and evade responsibility. To navigate these deceptive waters, a firm grasp on objectivity is your lifeline. Question their narratives, scrutinize their stories and stay grounded in reality. Seek support from those you trust, friends, family or a professional therapist. It's not a journey you have to undertake alone. Prioritize your well-being above all else. Remember, you are not responsible for a narcissist's actions or their distorted perception of reality. Don't allow yourself to be drawn into their web of deception. By understanding their tactics, you can navigate the deception and rebuild your life. It's a challenging journey, no doubt, but one that leads to empowerment and healing.